Hi, my name is Brooke Peterson. I am a full-time employee here at BYU Pathway Worldwide. We're so happy to be with you today. I'm joined by my friend. Joseph Sobrowski. <laughs> and we are here to just answer questions. We get tons of really great questions that come in all day, every day. And so we wanted to take a chance to um, get some of those answered. And so, but before we get started and start taking questions, Joseph, like you've been here a while. What do you love about BYU Pathway? You know, as an employee for about eight years, I love interfacing with missionaries who interface. They're on the front lines, I call them, with the students. <laughs> So they get excellent student experiences and their energy that yeah. I can get from them. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely one of my favorite parts about working it. here, being employed at BYU Pathway. I love it. And we have students from all over the world, right? So we're, you know, we're here in the United States where we live, but we've got students in 188 countries worldwide. So tell us where you're joining from. We'd love to see that. Um, and so as you're coming in, we're gonna take a lot of different questions. Um, but what should students expect from a gathering? So we've got a new semester starting soon and we've got yeah. some, some anxious folks. What should they be yeah. prepared for? Well, I think the gathering is the most unique part of what we do, um, mm -hmm. right? It's the weekly time that students come together as a group and they stay with each other, they support each other. So what you can expect is a ton of support and making friends that you never knew that you needed right and you're going to meet new people also speaking of pathway missionaries and how i love working with them you are going to work with the pathway missionaries and just absolutely love them i meet with them almost daily uh, different various missionaries and i have throughout the u.s and canada for many years they are phenomenal yeah they have signed up like they want to be here yeah. uh, with you so it's just gonna be great. Yeah, and they're such a great support system, right? So Joseph mentioned the service missionaries that are assigned to BYU Pathway. They're facilitating that gathering with you, but there's also peer mentors, there's academic advisors. Um, we've got our team that's responding to DMs. And so there's so much support that are around students, which is just so awesome. Um, and we see so many great success stories. I mean, we share them weekly on social, but do you have any that are near and dear to you? Oh, success stories, yeah. for sure. Well, um, soon, uh, BYU, Idaho is holding graduation, and I have a few neighbors yeah? that are graduating. I love um, it. So they're, they're going to be going to Rexburg uh, itself and walking across the stage with everybody, and that's an option for all Pathway students. But as far as the success story, I was out just last night talking with my neighbors and looking across the street, and it was the husband of a uh, graduate, soon-to-be graduate, away doing her final couple assignments yeah. after a few years being involved. And I asked, how did Pam get involved? Yeah. She was just sitting in church and it just, it just came to her, mm -hmm. right? She doesn't need this, her life is great, mm -hmm. everything's wonderful, but I'm watching her finish her degree, like literally yeah. watching it <laughs> with her husband and some of my other neighbors and we're just so proud of her. So those are great success stories and we hear about them often but sometimes yeah. there are very own neighbors. I happen to know about this one, but sometimes yeah. we don't even know. Yeah, one of my friends from, so I used to live in Texas and one of my really good friends, she did the, she did Pathway Connect and went on to BYU Idaho Online and graduated and she's actually getting ready to start her third year at BYU Law. Yep. And just like, you know, great family, a lot, a lot of good things happening, um, but there's so many students from all over the world, different, different experiences, different vantage points. Um, that BYU Pathway can really help um, and move them forward and yeah. just learning and growing, which is awesome. Um, so what's the requirements, right? So so Pam, your neighbor, sure. she got started. What did she need to know or do? So for our audience, what are they, what should they be prepared with? Well, a lot of these, you know, barriers, we'll call them, we broke those down, right? So uh, in high school, if you want to forget about that, Go ahead and forget about it, right? <laughs> if you're over 18 years old, you don't need a GED or a diploma. Um, there's no uh, entrance essays, which you know drive fear into a lot of people. There's no fees yeah. also. And it's very quick uh, to sign up. So a lot of these barriers that people are like, I don't want to write an essay. I don't want to do these things. Yeah. You don't have to do Not any part of those. Of the process. You can just sign up and you can start. I love it. So with that, um, how much does it cost, right? So you said it's affordable, but what's what's the bottom line? 
So the bottom line, $81 per credit, and most courses and, and that's here in the U.S. Here in the U.S. Yeah, 81, true. yeah. Yeah, so very affordable. And various countries have different mm -hmm. uh, tuition rates. Um, so very affordable, $81 per credit hour here in the U.S. And most college classes are going to be around three credits. Yeah. And so you can kind of look at that as an outlook um, for the cost. Yeah. And it keeps you out of debt. And you can go to BYUPathway.org slash tuition. Once again, that's BYUPathway.org slash tuition to see what does it cost in my country. You can even pop your country in the chat and one of our team members can respond um, and help you out there. But in addition to that affordable price, we also have scholarships. Absolutely. So do you want me to talk yeah, about Yeah, I love it. I'd yeah, love talk about whatever one you want. I can talk about the other one if you want, or you can talk about both of them. Well, they're so exciting. Um, right? The Return the Missionary scholarship i i loved serving my mission and i love missionary work so return missionary scholarship automatic 25 percent off right just for serving a mission and coming home within you know five years of returning home from your mission uh, so that is one that we have and it's great another one is heber j grant scholarship yeah and you can talk about some of the details but it's it. so exciting how it blankets just like the return missionary the entire world yeah. and some of the automated systems with it. Yeah, it's amazing. So the Heber J. Grant tuition discount is truly, um, you know, you might use the word scholarship or tuition discount interchangeably here in the U.S., um, but it's truly a tuition discount. So it's not something you have to pay back. In some parts of the world, a scholarship is something where there's a repayment expected, but not here. Um, and so what's so great about Heber J. Grant scholarship is that it's needs-based. So it's 10, 25, or 50% off your tuition. And that can be stacked with that RM scholarship. So if someone's returned home in the last five years, they fill out Heber J. Grant, they're gonna get at least 35% off. And so that scholarship is thanks in part to really generous donors that we have around the world who have said, we wanna give back, we wanna help people. Um, and the other thing I love about Heber J. Grant Scholarship is that it's, there's no cap. It's not like, oh, we're only going to give this to 100 people or 1,000 people. You are a BYU Pathway student. You fill out the information. You get at least 10%. Yep, <laughs> Pretty hard to beat. <laughs> Pretty hard to beat, which is so great. Um, another question we get a lot is, do I have to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to participate? Absolutely not. And we would welcome anyone that's a friend of our church that's listening. Uh, please come and be with us. We're friendly. We're yeah. nice. <laughs> I spoke to a young man um, a couple years ago from Canada, right? He was successful. He had a great job, right? But he was familiar with our church. Yeah. And he just needed to finish his degree. He didn't have to, per se, for his job. But yeah. he never Wanted did before. To. And he absolutely loved it. And he yeah. knew some members of our church. Mm -hmm. He knew, right, good people and we're going to do nice things. Yeah. Absolutely. His just love of who we are and what we do mm -hmm. absolutely grew. And yeah, he was in Canada working for a corporation, moving on his way up. And Pathway just helped accelerate that movement for him. Yeah. And it was great for me to meet him and call him my friend now. Yeah, I love it. It's so awesome. Um, well, and you mentioned that he's finishing his degree. So that's so awesome. So, you know, BYU Pathway can not only help people start, but they can also finish. And we have a pretty generous transfer credit policy. Do you wanna, do you wanna touch base on it or do you want me to share more? Sure, you can share more with that. Yeah. I would point everybody, uh, the other day we were online, we were doing a big Zoom meeting with a bunch of uh, missionaries and other people that are, were interested. And we've got this bot and it's yeah. awesome and you mm -hmm. can go and you can find out unofficially, yeah. right, really quick what, you know, your past credits, what they're gonna translate into. Mm -hmm. I love it, yeah. Just like Joseph said, we've got that bot that will sort of, it's a tool on our website where you can sort of unofficially see which transfer, which credits will transfer um, or are likely to transfer. So it gives you a good sense of what you're gonna get into. Um, I jokingly like to say no credit left behind um, <laughs> because we like to try to transfer as many credits as humanly possible to make it uh, a really simple, seamless experience for our students. Um, and then we also have, you know, those students who ha are starting fresh, they're coming back to finish. What if someone started and stopped partway through with BYU Pathway? What would that, what, can they come back? Absolutely. They can come back and we want you to come back and take another class. And we know life gets in the way. It does for all of us. 
So come back, take another class, take another two classes. We've got some classes that are now in the block and we've got more that are coming. So really seven weeks. Yeah. If you can commit seven weeks, come back and accomplish a class or two. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. And if you have questions about what does that actually look like, I, I need to come back. I'm not sure how to. You can send us a direct message. Um, you can also go to BYUPathway.org um, and click on that apply for free button. You're going to say that you're a returning student um, and we would love to help you. Um, so another semester is sort of always starting. Classes start every January, April and September. Um, so please, please feel free to get that started. Um, Thank you so much for joining us today. We, we wanted to hit it quick and heavy, <laughs> get a lot of those questions through. Um, so thanks for joining us today. Uh, if you've got other questions, feel free to include those in the chat or send us a direct message. We are happy to help get those answered. So thanks so much. Thanks for being with us, Joseph. Yeah, thank you.